Well, uh, I've been mowing. Got this front part done. And uh, yesterday, or the day before, I had done some of the real tall grass. So today I knocked out this front part, making it look a little better from the road. But this video is for a reading. So I'm going to read from uh, Way of the Wizard by Deepak Chopra. Chopra. Uh, it's from Lesson 7, and we would be doing Lesson, or understanding the lesson. Uh, I believe Friday I was absent on doing it. I think it was Wednesday the last day. If I'm wrong, correct me. I don't remember, but uh, a lot's been going on. <sighs> I'm not feeling that great but I'm not feeling that bad. So I was able to knock out a little bit of the yard. Uh, I've done some uh, personal reading out of the fifth agreement um, and uh, a little toying around. And here we go. I, I was thinking, well, what can I do that's not uh, too demanding? And it hit me. You need to do the way of the wizard video. I didn't do it yesterday. So understanding the lesson. When we are awake, we keep our attention glued to the sights and sounds of the material world. So it is easy to assume that the physical body is the only body we have. What is a body? The broadest definition would be a collection of cells working together to form a larger unit. Being much greater than the sum of its parts, a body can act and think and feel in ways impossible for a single cell. Let's apply this definition to an unexpected place. Feelings. Every day you have isolated feelings that are like single cells. Put them all together and you have your emotional body. Your emotional body is, first of all, a living history of all the things you like and dislike, as well as your fears, hopes, desires, and so on. If your emotional body could walk into the room, your friends would recognize you immediately since the emotional body gives us a huge part of our identity. There are other bodies also invisible that add to your uniqueness. There is the body of knowledge that has been growing with you since birth. Call this your mental body. Knowledge is subtler, subtler than emotions since it is made up of abstract concepts. But even subtler are all the reasons you have for living. Your deep beliefs about existence and the nature of life, all stored within your, your casual body, that part of you that allows you to understand existence. Here reside the deepest seeds of memory and desire. All of these bodies are unique to you. Again, if your mental body or casual body could walk into a room, you would be immediately identifiable so identity your feeling of being i flows from your awareness of these bodies a wizard knows that this glow moves from the subtlest body to the grossest the i you identify with is created first by your beliefs and reason for living casual body which give rise to ideas mental body and feelings emotional body only at the end of the sequence does the physical body receive the impulse of life. As Merlin, as Merlin said, mortals believe that they are physical machines that learn to think. Actually, they are thoughts that learn to create a physical machine. Thoughts that learn to create a physical machine. What a beautiful analogy there something to ponder upon okay so uh, I'm gonna keep it short and simple um, like I said I'm thinking I'm done for the day I may squeeze in a video I might go ahead and do something for tomorrow today uh, I've got some ideas for my comics and toys but you never know I also have some ideas I've been thinking about uh, from the fifth agreement, from um, also thinking about more uh, what I'm else I might be able to add to a giveaway. But uh, 
Other than that, other than feeling a little low on energy, I'm getting things done. Hey, I washed dishes mode. Uh, took Ladybird for a walk twice already, and it's not even three o'clock. So that's a pretty good day, even if I'm feeling kind of down and the. So the rest of the day, I can kind of not do much of anything. Hope everybody has a wonderful evening. Until next time, Mr. Cloud says of the eternal moment. Over and out. Ditto.